Hey guys, today we are going to have a product review. We are going to talk about the new multimeter, the Soji CT102A. The Model A is alike the Model 102. The difference is it comes with the function of auto. Auto makes this multimeter a great device for hobbyists, for students, for the workshop, because it can take care of what you are doing. When we take a reading of high voltage in DC AC, auto is great for it because it will set the multimeter in the function and the scale we need in order to avoid any mistake. The first impression of the multimeter is, it's nice, very light, feels compact on the hand, it's a pound size, and it comes with comfortable test leads and the temperature probe. Just in my case, I got an issue with it, and I will explain you why. I like to work with rechargeable batteries, and rechargeable batteries, they do not manage the screen in this multimeter. So that's my issue, it's not yours. The company is very clear, I need two AAA batteries, 1.5. It doesn't say 1.2. So I can use my rechargeable batteries. Probably I will have to do something about it if I want to use it with rechargeable. Other ways, I got stuck in this point of the video. Later my son, he told me in a present he gave me with my nephew, there were three batteries I didn't use, so I ran to put them, and now I'm ready for the test. It's getting dark already, and I am not able to continue with this video in this laboratory. Anyway, my function generator here is more like a kind of toy, so I will have to go to the other electronics laboratory and connect the multimeter to real equipment. If you were wondering how weak is the display, let me show you this picture. I was running this video here, and I have three spotlights on the screen, an open window, and this display is very shiny. From any angle we will watch it, it's wonderful. I like it a lot. Now let's find out what is the voltage that triggers the auto mode, because the multimeter in the beginning, it thinks it's making a resistor's reading. So, after certain voltage, it will turn on the auto measurement system. Let's find out what is that level. Please pay attention, we are in kilo ohms. Now I will start increasing voltage. At this point, it says it's auto. Something near 800 millivolts is enough to trigger the auto function. Let's remember, guys, so far, the multimeter has more precision than the power supply voltage display. To trigger the voltage around 800 millivolts is a very safe voltage because in AC or DC is generally speaking when we go upper of the diode voltage level. So to make a measurement for AC or when we're working electronics and we have to make a measurement with a triac or bridge rectifier, something alike, 
the system is very safe to work with. Now, because my function generator has less noise than the power supply, it doesn't mean the power supply is so bad, but the function generator is better, I'm going to use it to fit some voltage there. But first, we are going with my voltage reference. It's about 10 volts. Now, let's put this voltmeter against the specifications. So far, so good. AC voltage. One volt RMS. Once again, against the specs, and it looks very well. Now let's try millivolts. Let's remember, we need a voltage higher than 0.8 volts. This is in the volts scale. Let's go to millivolts. So far, so good too. Now I discover the main problem with auto. It's like the remote control with the TV will make us lazy. Why? Because I was in auto trying to make a measurement of millivolts. But it's okay. Who wouldn't like to sit in front of the multimeter with a popcorn and a soda and watch what is going on with the screen? So far, I think auto is wonderful. And that's the reason I recommend it for hobbyists, beginners, students, and to have this multimeter as the extra multimeter to work fast and furious. It's good even for repairing. The booster for the continuity test is in the same function with the diode testing. Also selecting, we have capacitance meter too. This multimeter can reach up to 60 mega ohms. That makes this multimeter very practical for repairing. Now I will stop here the product review because we can watch later more about it in other videos. And let's take a look inside of it. This is what the multimeter looks like. With open gap banana female connectors, a PTC, Voltage chopper with bridge rectifier. The fuse is small, but I will not criticize about it. Why? Because those kind of devices, they are getting in fashion. So probably, it's not that I don't have them. Probably I will have to get them. I already have other devices and I did other repairings where those small fuses came inside. If we apply voltage to the amperes scale, we are protected with the bridge rectifier in some level and the fuse in other. And if we are not careful and we are going to apply 220 volts or 110 uh, in the amperes scale, probably we will make a damage to the equipment. And nothing will help and it's not dependable of the multimeter, it's more dependable from us. 
this is the first device to blow. And if there is time enough to make the damage here and there, it will save to do not blow the tracks in the PCB. So always be careful because that kind of issues depends more from us. Our chant resistor. The other fuse. The voltage divider resistors. Our crystal. The display LED. This is the non-contact voltage sensor. Let's see how it works. This is our chip. Everything is in it. And maybe this is the communication port. So far, that's all, guys. A very practical multimeter, easy to use, save a lot of troubles, because if we apply voltage to the resistance, function we will probably damage the multimeter. Also if we are in low scale and we apply 220 volts we will damage the multimeter too. Auto function help us to avoid all kind of problems alike. So that's the reason I said it's a very practical multimeter for hobbyists, students, beginners and our extra multimeter we want to have. Also why not? For repairing it's wonderful. Thanks, Sotec, for the multimeter. They are the sponsors of this product review. They sent this multimeter to us, and we are going to use it in my other laboratory for repairing. So we will get some more videos with it. Thanks, guys, by watching the video. Do not forget to like and to share and to subscribe. See you next time.